Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a Solomon Stance 84 for you today. This ski returns unchanged from last year except for a graphic update. Uh, the wider skis in the Stance line, the 90, 96, and 102, all get an updated construction. Uh, this one stays the same. And I think that's great news because this is one of the most underrated and underappreciated skis out there on the market today. Uh, at 84 millimeters underfoot and with a relatively sophisticated build uh, coming in with a great value. Uh, there are a ton of skiers out there who would be very happy using this as a daily ski in terms of pure all mountain conditions and applications. Um, we've had a blast on it. You know, a skier like myself, 6'2", 225, can be aggressive. Uh, I found a lot to like about this Stance 84. Um, skied it in Alta, Utah as well, even in some deeper and more manky snow and held up reasonably well, uh, but it really lit it up on the groomers and in the moguls. Definitely one of the best skis for you know that all mountain front side application that we've seen come through in quite a while. So glad to have this thing back. Uh, really deserves a lot more attention than it gets. Hopefully this, uh, this new graphic will kind of push it to the next level. You know, love it or hate it, who cares? Uh, at least it's a little bit more eye-catching and that's the ultimate idea is to get the, the right skier on the right ski and this one has a huge audience. Uh, it is built with a full poplar wood core. We do get their TIC frame involved here. So it's metal underfoot, so metal plate underfoot. And then in these windows here, we get stringers of uh, carbon. So metal underfoot, carbon in the tips and tails, leads to great energy in the ends, and then nice and stable feeling underfoot with good torsional stiffness and edge grip. So pretty, you know, pretty much that wider front side ski underfoot, and then more all mountain versatility in the tips and tails um, makes this thing a whole lot of fun. And then increasing the agility, we do have kind of that tapered, um, you know, it's full sidewall underfoot, and then it kind of tapers to full cap in the tips and tails. And that's increasing the agility, the quickness uh, of the ski. This is where I like to see something come into play for, for moguls. So when you're in the bumps, having this cap in the front and the back really make the, make the ski able to articulate with the terrain and just makes it easy to maneuver through bumps and other technical zones. So for an 84, like you can really put this thing wherever you want. Um, myself and another taller tester here, we both really, really enjoy just how easy and agile this ski is, mainly because like we're not agile people by nature. So having a ski take up some of the slack is very, very helpful. And in the Stance 84, uh, they do it with a good amount of precision as well. So psyched to see this thing um, whenever we get on it. Ends up being pretty light. This is the 177, uh, 1,596 grams. So it is on the lighter side. You know, that's going to take that high speed stability down a little bit, as well as the lack of metal in the ends of the ski. But if you're a stable skier, you're not going to, you, you're not going to think that this is any less. Um, so it does have that nice stability built in. And then just some pretty nice, what you know, what you would expect from an all-mountain ski in the mid-80s in terms of camber underfoot and rocker in the tips and tails. Nothing terribly dramatic going on here, you know, with appropriate rocker. Good for mixing soft snow. You know, maybe a little bit more tail rocker than we might expect, but not a lot of splay. So that kind of gives it a smooth feeling at the end, uh, allows you to release turns easily even makes this thing a little bit more playful and softer snow. So great mix of, you know, attributes there in this Stance 84 for sure. And then kind of a shorter turn radius than what we see in the other stances, 16 meters here in the 177. Um, so a little bit more like it's helping you in and out of the turn, whereas the 90, 96, 102 longer turn shapes puts more responsibility on the skier to dictate uh, duration. This one is a little bit more, uh, you know, homed in on that shorter turn shape, which I think fits the clientele a little bit better. Um, great for that intermediate skier looking to progress, advanced skier looking for something that they don't have to think too much about. 
even an expert skier, a lighter weight, less aggressive expert skier with good skills that just wants something that can handle daily skiing operations with zero complaints. Great ski. Make sure you check out the Solomon Stance 84 here at SkiEssentials.com, and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.